Welcome to Easy Gates Gate 22 Instrumentation Solutions. Next problem, question number 52 as per the master paper. Yes, this is a simple one from electrical circuits. What is given? In the given circuit, the load is driven by a sinusoidal AC voltage source. V1 is given 100 at an angle 0. V1 phasor is given. Frequency is given as 50 hertz. R1 is given 20 ohm. C1 is given. So by giving divided by pi, he is helping you so that you can get the impedances quickly. And R2 is also given the power factor, okay, up to one decimal places. Okay, power factor of the load means how to approach the problem. So power factor of the load means you need only the impedance angle. So that means you better focus the problem with respect to the total impedance. If you get the total impedance, go for the angle of the impedance, then cos of angle of impedance will be your power factor, that's all, okay? So it can be a inductive load effectively or capacitive load, let us focus on. So given two impedances, this is Z1, let me take R1 parallel C1, so you can take it as one by S into C1. So straight away Z1 of S, R and C parallel will be R by SRC plus one, so SR1, C1 plus one, okay? That's your impedance offered by this parallel combination. And let this is Z2, that is, is that two? Yes, is that two is due to L1? That is nothing but okay. Let it be straight away. The impedance offered by this will be J omega L1. Let me take SL1. Okay, you can also take it as SL1. Okay, so L1 is given. So we'll go for omega L1 soon. And R2 is also given. So then the Z total is going to be simply Z total is going to be it is going to be R1 by S R1 C1 plus one plus yes L1 plus R2 will be the total impetus. That's all. So let us equal to J omega. It's all about making the real and imaginary. Okay. So before that, let me calculate the impedances offered by them. Otherwise, let me straight away go for the uh, real and imaginary forms. Okay. So R1 by S R1 C1. Let S equal to J omega. That is better. So the Z total is equal to R1 by J omega R1 C1 plus 1 plus J omega L1 plus R2. This is what the total impedance is. Okay, so let me go for straight away omega R1 C1, the product. What is omega given? Omega is, F is given 50, so omega is 2 pi F. So omega is equal to 2 pi F means it is 100 pi. Omega is 100 pi radian per second. So 100 pi into R1 into C1. R1 is given 20 ohm. C1 is given 1000 by pi micro. Okay, so this is 20 ohms and it is 1000 by pi micro. Okay, like carefully, it is micro. So 10 power minus 6, let me take. So 10 power minus 6, then simplify this number. So pi pi will get cancelled. So then, so this zero, two zeros, so three zeros, so 10 power minus six, so then it is going to be two. Okay, omega R1, C1 will be two. Fine then, omega L1 is equal to omega is 100 pi into L1 is given 20 by pi milli, that's very important. So 20 by pi into 10 power minus three. Okay, then how many zeros? Three zeros will get canceled. Pi also will get canceled. So pi will get cancelled, 10 power minus 3, the 0, and two zeros will get cancelled. Hope it is 20 by pi. Yes, what about, uh, okay, 20 by pi, this is also going to be 2. Okay, that is uh, reactance offered by the inductor. So this is 2, this is 2. So that means there is a total will reduce to R1 is 20. So 20 by 1 plus J2 plus J2. Okay, so plus R2, R2 is 4, let's give it, okay, this is 4. So then we can write is a total as straight away. So this is already available in the real and uh, imaginary. So let us convert this alone into real and imaginary. Then I can make it as 20 by, so 1 plus J2 can be multiplied and divided by its complex conjugate. Then it is going to become uh, 1 minus so 1 plus J2 into 1 minus J2 is going to become 1 square plus 2 square. It is going to be 5 into 1 minus J2 plus J2 plus 4 you will get. Okay. So as a result, and the Z total will become. So 20 by 5 is 4. So it is going to be 4 minus J8 plus 
j2 plus 4 you will get as a result is a total is equal to 8 it is going to be 8 minus j6 it is going to become 8 minus j6 so then angle of this is a total is the one we are looking for angle of this is it is 8 minus j6 okay so it is going to be turn inwards of it is going to be negative that's not an issue so it is a rc load okay minus turn inwards of 6 by 8 magnitude alone matters so the angle is going to be minus turn inwards of 6 by 8 is going to be So that your angle is that then cos of angle is that will be our perfect perfect equal to cos of angle of is a total okay so when you know to look for power factors actually the phase angle difference between current and voltage who influences that means only your impedance angle so i'm straight away going for perfect equal to cos of the impedance angle that is straightforward so let me calculate the impedance angle so six by eight is 0.75 tan inverse of that is equal to yes so the angle is going to be so it is going to be cos of minus 36.8687 you can take let me use accurate answer then cos of the answer cos of answer is going to be 0.8 exactly so that's your power factor of the given circuit okay so you can help yourself straight away by going for the angle of is a total instead of finding the current and going for the phase angle difference between your voltage and current current actually will lead in the given circuit because it is going to become uh, rc load okay so this is going to be v in and this phase angle you will get it as 36.86 and still the power factor same it's a leading power factor of 0.8 but you didn't say lead or lag simply the power factor of the circuit so simple problem and answer up to one decimal places means yes it is exactly what you are getting 0 0.8 will be your answer Thanks for watching. We'll update you with the next problem.